One Piece's author Eiichiro Oda finally answers one of the biggest questions that fans had about his record-breaking manga, concerning Zoro and his family, which spawned countless theories. Through the SBS Q&A section of the recently published volume number 105 of One Piece, Oda confirms that Zoro is indeed a descendant of the samurai of Ueno. In the SBS of volume number 105 of One Piece, Eiichiro Oda takes the chance to clarify once and for all Zoro's ancestry, revealing that he is, indeed, a descendant of the Shimatsuki clan from Ueno. Shimatsuki Kuzaburo, a legendary swordsmith who forged Odin's sword, Enma, left the secluded land of Ueno 55 years before the current events in the series, with a group of 25 people. Among them was Shimatsuki Furiko, the elder sister of Shimatsuki Ashimaru who would later become the daimyo of Ringo and die fighting Kaido after his takeover of Ueno. After arriving in East Blue, ten people from Kuzaburo Group settled there and founded Shimatsuki Village. Furiko married a fellow Ueno native called Roranoa Penzoro. They gave birth to a son, Roranoa Erisher, who married a woman from East Blue and became Zoro's father. Eiichiro Oda confirms that Zoro is a descendant of the Shimatsuki clan from Wana Zoro's family tree in one piece. Fans always suspected that Zoro could have a connection to the land of samurai, and these suspicions grew even more after Yamato's flashback revealed the aspect of Shimatsuki Ashimaru, who looks identical to Zoro. Another flashback then revealed that Kuzaburo lived in Zoro's village and gave him his first swords, unleashing all sorts of theories and speculations. However, Oda said that, while there was definitively a story about Zoro's past, he was probably not going to address it in the manga. In fact, despite being one of the best arcs in One Piece, Ueno left fans disappointed for not addressing the mystery of Zoro's connection with Ashimaru and his ancestor, the legendary samurai Ryuma, known as the God of the Blade. Zoro actually met Ryuma, or rather his corpse, in Thriller Bark, where he had been reanimated by Gekko Moria's powers to serve as one of his zombie generals. This revelation of Zoro's family tree makes the character even more interesting. Zoro is not only the great-nephew of Ashimaru, one of the last daimyo of Ueno, and a direct descendant of the legendary Ryuma, but he is also a distant relative of Kuina, his childhood friend whose tragic death inspired him to become the strongest swordsman in the world. Zoro's ancestry shows that destiny is a powerful force in one piece it is understandable that Eiichiro Oda decided to leave Zoro's family backstory out of the manga. One Piece is currently in its final saga, and there is already a huge number of plot threads, mysteries to unravel, and characters taking part in the action. Considering Zoro's personality, and the fact that his parents died when he was young, he must be completely unaware of his heritage. However, destiny is a powerful force in One Piece, and thus Zoro got the chance to meet his legendary ancestor and also free his country of origin from Kaido's tyranny fulfilling his duty as a descendant of the Shimatsuki clan. Subscribe to our channel for more such content.